Welcome to Pixitope Academy. Today we'll be discussing XR alignment. This is a critical part of XR setup within Pixitope. By alignment, we're referring to matching the positioning of our XR planes in Pixitope with the physical LED wall in our studio. Through XR, we're able to treat a LED screen as a window or a portal into a virtual environment. And as such, it is critical that this is positioned correctly within our 3D space. Position, rotation, and scale need to align as well. And this is vital if you want to have an AR set extension transition seamlessly into the edges of your XR. Now, before we can start the actual alignment process, we first need to ensure that the quality of our tracking calibration is as good as it humanly can be. This is because XR is very sensitive to slippage and misalignment. Any kind of translative tracking issues, whether it's world scale being off, orientation being tilted incorrectly, or our tracking data, also known as camera root in Pixitope, not being where it should be in 3D space. Any of these issues will prevent us from getting perfect XR alignment. The silver lining is that XR doesn't rely on lens data to a significant degree, especially if you're using the auto-optimized FOV function within Pixitope but a properly calibrated lens will still help with the steps listed in this tutorial and will also be required if you're rendering a limited inner thrust room. And this is gonna be useful for our manual alignment process because we're going to go about this through the means of setting up reference points in 3D space in the shape of augmented reality or AR geometry overlapping the video backplate. This means that we're going to need to set up an empty AR scene, and we're also going to require camera feed being piped into the XR engine. This is only required for the duration of our calibration process because we don't require video at all for a typical XR setup. Once we are confident that our tracking is in good shape, we can move on to the actual alignment phase. To begin with, having something like a LiDAR scan, like we do here, or a Vectorworks drawing of our stage, or a similar 3D source model, can make for a good starting point when calibrating our XR, but rarely will this work as is out of the box for final XR alignment. So we're going to begin the manual process of alignment by opening an empty AR scene and pinning the corners of our physical LED wall with virtual geometry. It helps tremendously if your floor height is an actually measured zero, or at the very least a known value, so that we can measure the height from the floor to the actual lower edge of the LED and start aligning our calibration geometry at that exact height. This would mean that, in effect, with a known height, we only need to worry about the aligning on the X and Y axis, having eliminated the Z axis from this calibration process. Otherwise, trying to align an augmented reality geometry to a corner of a LED in three different axes at the same time is going to be just about impossible within a manageable time frame. Now, starting at an arbitrary corner, we work our way around the edges of the LED, positioning calibration cones as we go. It's a good idea to constantly move, shift, scale, and zoom your camera to assure that the cones don't slip or drift away from the LED edges as you position them. A calibration that might look good from one edge may be a different story once you move your camera to a different angle. It's not until we're able to freely move our tracked camera and still see all of our calibration pins tracking the outline of the LED to a satisfactory degree that we are done with the calibration process. At the end of this, the result is going to be a one-to-one -one reconstruction of the LED corners within Pixitope, and we can then take these reference points and use them as our framework when we set up and position our XR planes. For each XR plane, we're going to need at least three, but ideally four corner pins in order to align and position the plane correctly. After we've positioned and scaled our XR planes, we need to check the dimensions of this virtual XR plane against the dimensions of the physical LED. If there's any kind of clear discrepancy between the measured dimensions of the LED and the geometry dimensions within Pixitope, that may point to either tracking scale being off, that we have poorly calibrated tracking after all, or that we have made some kind of mistake during our measuring and alignment stage. Hopefully, at the end of this process, you're going to have a properly aligned XR scene. And now, you can move on to populating your XR level with graphics. Thank you for watching this Academy tutorial. Please check our library for other great resources to help you with your Pixtope productions.